Right now at five, fire and gunfire. I just heard gunshots. I've seen a lot of smoke, a lot of ambulance. Brings a neighborhood to a standstill. Tonight, the intense scene that had a neighborhood on edge. In the end, police believe that man killed himself. But he wasn't found until the SWAT team could secure his home and get inside. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live on the scene in Alapata with exactly what happened. Gary? Well, as a rule, we don't report suicides, and the exceptions being uh, high-profile victims or suicides that thrust themselves into the public arena. The one at this house this morning very much did exactly that, disrupting a neighborhood for many long hours. About 8 o'clock this morning, smoke wisping from a modest home in Alapata. Fire and police arrive. A woman had called them saying her husband was going to kill himself. Juan Morala dropped his wife at work here at the airport Hilton Doubletree, telling her he was going to commit suicide. She called 911. Cops and fire trucks arrived. The house was then fully ablaze, but firefighters had to wait for a SWAT team escort before moving in. Surrounding neighbors were ordered to evacuate. They told us to come out. We were coming out. We have to go to the social security. And then we, they told us to run. At some point, gunfire erupted from the home. I just heard gunshots. I've seen a lot of smoke, a lot of ambulance. When first responders finally beat down the flames, they found Morala dead by the rear stoop of the house, a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He didn't work. He didn't work. Neighbor Curtis Cromer told me Morala was on disability. A family friend told me off camera he was very ill. Public records show he filed for bankruptcy in 2009. Late in the day, police were able to offer no conclusive motive why this man, a former minister, would burn his home down and take his own life. Police and fire investigators cleared this scene just a short while ago after many hours here. This victim is survived, of course, by his widow and by a son and daughter-in-law, both of whom happen to be correctional officers. We're live in Alapata, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you. And